All right, we're on another laser adventure here. Um, this is the We Create Vision 20 watt diode laser. Cameron has it, I think you can see, inside Diablo, the big laser, because we have the um, ventilation system and we're using, uh, we're using Diablo's venting system for the We Create. And right now, Cameron's testing the diode laser. I am chomping at the bit to get some of my projects in here that we weren't able to accomplish on the CO2 laser because it's too strong, too powerful at 100 watts. So this one is 20 watts and it's diode. And Cameron, what's the difference between a diode laser and a CO2 laser? Uh, it's the difference is how the laser is created. In the CO2 laser, you have a tube of carbon dioxide gas that is used to create the laser beam. And in the diode, you have LEDs, light emitting diodes that are configured to create the laser light. Okay, and we also bought the infrared head for this, which is going to engrave metal, right? Yes. And it does so in a permanent way versus like having to spray it with something and yes. so it's a permanent. It actually will etch the metal. Okay, so it etches the metal. And then I saw online that it'll etch in different colors. Do you know how it does that? Um, I have seen that. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I think it has to do with the power and or frequency that you use okay. when you do it. Interesting. Okay, so this is what we're doing right now. We're testing this and I'm hoping to be able to get at least one little project done in here to just see how it works. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. We are using the We Create diode laser. We have a laser within a laser. And we're doing a lion drawing on the scratch paper. It's black on the surface and when it engraves, it turns to white, which you can't really see through the amber. Uh, you don't have to wear protective glasses with this laser because its lid is your protection. So we're gonna see how this works. Cameron's been tinkering with the settings. We've had some, would you call it jittering? or ghosting. just ghosting with lines. Um, and the thicker the line, the better right now, I think. But we're gonna see how this line works and I'll bring you back when it's about to finish. This is gonna be, what, a 10 minute cut? 15. 15 minute cut. So um, I'm not gonna torture you with the whole thing, but we'll be back. Hello again. <clears throat> All right, so. We're progressing with the lion and we'll stay with this to show you what it's like when we pull it out. But I wanted to show you, right now this is a very temporary setup. He has the machine, or the laser within the laser set up kind of the opposite of how we usually do things so that he could plug everything in and run it down to his computer. So this is very temporary. We are going to have to buy a cart to put this on. Um, this is a very secondary piece of equipment for us and it's not something that we're gonna use all the time. It's not a primary laser, it's a secondary laser. And for more specialized um, projects like this, where the CO2 laser is just far too powerful uh, to do anything like this, it just burns the paper up. So this one is gentler. A little less power, less speed, I think. Um, and so, and Cameron's been doing a lot of tweaking of the settings. We've had some frustrations and some laughs over it. Um, the frustration is that it doesn't just work right out of the box and there's some tweaking and also uh, light burn and we create aren't completely compatible yet. Um, there are things that don't work <clears throat> as well quite yet or at all um, and that we hope are coming as their relationship grows um, 
but I suggested that Cameron call tech support and he just looks at me like, why are you even saying that to me? And, you know, he knows a lot. He's very technically inclined and so he gets frustrated when he gets people at tech support and he feels like no one can help him with his esoteric questions. And I'm the opposite. I feel like everybody at tech support can help me because I don't know anything. So we walk around through life in very different shoes. But here we go. I think the lion is just about done. And we'll take it out and give you a look. He's handsome. Oh, and he's cutting that out. <clears throat> Have we cut anything except for a test pattern on this? Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty low power setting, right? Even for this machine, I mean, it's only 20 watts, but... It's 60%. 60%, okay. For the cut. Oh, for the cut, but not for the engraving? Engraving is 40. Engraving at 40%. Okay. All right. So, laser within a laser for now. Eventually, it'll sit on a cart. So, that's what we have. Go ahead and take that out, honey. <clears throat> oh, that's smelly, just like the other laser. Oh, so that's a really good look at it. Hey, that's pretty cool. That looks great. Tomorrow we're going to try something with much finer lines, uh, but I wanted to see how this lion would do. Very cool.